In the news, federal government, state governors consider creation of state police. Northern traditional rulers to explore solution to alleviate challenges. Mammoth crowd attends annual remembrance prayer of late Ismaila Aliu Onumoko. Celebration of appointment of Dr. Habibat as Accountant General of Kogi State. United Kingdom economy swims into recession. And in sports, Super Eagles move up to 28th position in new FIFA rankings. This is the MLC TV Global News, reaching in live from the city of Lokoja, the confluent state of Nigeria. I am Joshua Atinoi. Thanks for joining us. As part of measures to address the worsening security challenges across the country, the federal government and state governors of the 36 states are considering the creation of state police. This was part of deliberations at an emergency meeting between President Bola Tinubu and the state governors at the presidential villa, Abuja. The Minister of Information and Orientation, Mohammed Idris, while addressing state house correspondents after the meeting, explained that the process is still in its infancy stage and would only take shape after more deliberations between stakeholders. The emergency meeting was convened as a fallout of the socio-economic crisis in the country, which includes the recent hike in food prices, economic hardship, as well as pockets of insecurity recorded nationwide. The Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, has enjoined politicians to provide support for individuals facing economic hardship in the country. President of CAN, Archbishop Daniel Oko, who made the call in his message to Christians on Ash Wednesday, urged Nigerians to come together to create a more inclusive and compassionate society where the burdens of the marginalized are alleviated and their voices heard. The cleric charged Christians to embrace the spirit of understanding, empathy, and service to others as they embark on the season of Lent. Addressing the political class, the clergyman noted that those occupying positions of power were elected by the people, calling on them to do their best to put smiles on the faces of the masses in view of the current condition of the country. The Sultan of Sokoto, Sa'ad Abubakar, says the Northern Traditional Rulers Council will explore solutions to alleviate the challenges in the region and accordingly advise governors. Sa'ad Abubakar, who is the chairman of the council, stated this in a meeting with chairman of the 19 Northern State Traditional Rulers and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, held in Kaduna State. He said the meeting was aimed at addressing concerns of the people for a better future assuring that the outcome would be communicated to all governors in the region. He acknowledged their responsibility as fathers to provide solutions to the various challenges facing the region and emphasized the need for honesty in acknowledging all issues, including lack of regular source of livelihood, leading to insufficient daily meals for the common man. According to Abu Bakr, insecurity and the rising issue of poverty demand immediate action, stating that things are not okay in Nigeria and the North, stating that having a large population of unemployed youth without proper opportunities was hazardous. He advised political leaders to take decisive action to remedy the situation to ensure peace and stability in the region and Nigeria as a whole. He expressed concerns that previous solutions articulated by the traditional rulers were not implemented, assuring that they would continue to discharge their duties to millions of people who believe in the traditional institution. Kaduna State Governor Ubasani, who was represented by his deputy Dr. Hadiza Balarabe, also expressed concern that the northern region has transformed from a peaceful area and the nation's food basket to an epic center of terrorism banditry, kidnapping, among other challenges. The governor suggested an immediate collective action by governors in the region to strengthen access to education, health care, and agriculture. Governor Uba added that northern states must form strong partnership to revitalize the region's economy and combat poverty and insecurity. The 2024 edition of the annual remembrance prayer of late Ismaila Aliu Onumoko has been held in Aboga, or Kenway in Okeni local government area of Kogi State. 
Those at the prayer session in an interview described late Onumoko as one who left good legacies before his departure. A Thanksgiving prayer was also held to appreciate Allah for the appointment of Dr. Habibat Oiza Tijani Onumoko as Accountant General of Kogi State. Let's join our reporter for the detail. <laughs> Nine years down the line, after Ismaila Aliu Onumoko passed on, on 14 February 2015, at the age of 85, his children have continued to hold special prayers annually in his remembrance as those who attended the event described late Onumoko as a disciplinarian and a lover of all. The 2024 edition of the special prayer was unique as Dr. Habibat Tijani Onumoko, a daughter of the deceased, was celebrated as the first female accountant general of Kogi State. The Ohi of Okene, His Royal Highness, Isamaman Okatahi, the Okakanda of Ibira Land, the immediate past Kogi State Head of Service, Hana Odio, and pharmacist Ramat Molo, who is a daughter of late Onumoko, have this to say about the late community builder. Late uh, Ismaila Onumoko lived a fulfilled life. He's a very, very straightforward man when alive. He loves his people, he loves his nation. I am His Royal Highness, Elijah Dabu Musa, the Okakanda of Ibrahim. You can't just call him a father, you can't call him a brother, you can't call him uncle, because he's all. He's a brother, he's an uncle, he's a grandfather, he's a friend, he's a chief, he's all in one. Late Paonumoko um, was a highly respected community leader in Okenwe here because he was an embodiment of love, he was an agent of peace and unity. I'm so happy to have a late dad like him. Up to now, we are still missing him and we are still praying for him. As we gather here in his compound to remember wow. him, we pray for him that his soul continue to rest in perfect peace. The Almighty Allah make his soul rest in peace and give him Janat al May Almighty Allah bless the children. My name is Ustad Abdul Karim Jibril. Others in an interview described the appointment of Habibat Tijani Onumoko, the Accountant General of Kogi State, as well deserved, expressing optimism that she will live up to expectations in the discharge of her duties. My name is Abdullah Yusuf Ohikura, the Matawa Law of Igu Kingdom. Aja Habibat I have touched human life. We are not just here because she's appointed as an Accountant General, but we are here because. We discovered that she has touched people's lives and we are here to appreciate what Almighty Allah has done for all of us. Hi dear Mrs. Dr. Habibat, or is that Tijani? She is a blessing to this community. She is a blessing to her home where she was born and bred up. And she is also by extension a blessing to Guinea local government and Kogi State in general. Sometimes she was a treasurer of the local government. Sometimes she became the chairman of all the treasurers. Sometimes she became a permanent secretary and now accountant general of Kogi State. I wish her all the best. Top government functionaries, traditional rulers, Islamic clerics, women groups, among others, trooped out in their numbers to attend the event in Aboga or Kenwe in Okini local government area of Kogi State. The Oyo State Government has shot six health facilities across the state over Kwakri. The facilities sealed include the new Jobi Memorial Hospital, Omolara Clinic and Maternity Home, IPED Amazing Grace Medical Clinic, Emiloju Clinic and Maternity Center, Ogbere and Silvery Clinic, Baremo, and Emilagba Clinic and Maternity Center, Ibado. The state government, in a statement by the Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Prince Dr. Oyelade, explained that the health facilities were sealed for recruiting unqualified personnel to provide medical services and for engaging in illicit practices. 
Speaking during an inspection and monitoring exercise held within a Bada metropolis, the State anti quackery Task Force Committee Chairman, Dr. Adekunle Aremu, said the team carried out the operation as part of government's efforts towards protecting the health and well-being of citizens of the state. Dr. Aremu explained that Oyo State Government will not tolerate any form of quackery or substandard practices in the health sector, stressing that anyone found culpable will face the full wrath of the law. He urged the public to report any suspicious or illegal activities in any health facility to the Ministry of Health or the nearest security agency, calling on them to patronize only accredited and registered health facilities in the state. The authorities of Duma local government area in Nasarawa state have ordered the warring transporters in the community to operate within the ambit of the law of fee sanctions. The Secretary of Duma Local Government Council, Ibrahim Isa Usman, gave the warning during a peace and amicable settlement pact at the office of the council chairman, Ahmed Sarkin Usman. The local government secretary at the meeting emphasized that members of the Road Transport Employers Association of Nigeria, RTEAN, as a trade union, have all it takes to operate not only in Duma but anywhere in Nigeria given the quantum of documents presented at the meeting. He instructed members of the Nigerian Union of Road Transport Workers, NURTW, and RTEAN to provide handwritten letters to the local government, promising to maintain peace in the area while carrying out their daily activities. The meeting was attended by representatives of various security operatives, among others. We go on a short break. Do stay with us. It's new, fresh, and hygienic. It's Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil. Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil is hygienically processed to nourish our bodies. Contains the most needed nutrients for healthy living. Umzi Soya Oil has omega-6, iron, zinc, and vitamins E and K, among others, that help to maintain cholesterol levels, strengthen the immune system, healthy bones, improve skin health, and many more. It does not foam, fume, or congeal. It is a refined cooking oil for consumers, retailers, and wholesalers. To buy Umzi Soya Oil, quickly go to Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil Station along Shetima Barracks Road beside Otokiti Estate Gate. With Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil, you and your family are more healthy and stronger. For more information, please call 0706-7213-4171 or 0806-058-0048. Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil, satisfying customers at a reduced cost. Buy Umzi Soya Vegetable Oil today and thank me later. Umzi Soya Oil, the option for high heat cooking with health benefits. Glad to know you are still there. On politics, a former Deputy Speaker of the Abia State House of Assembly, Ifai Uchendo has dumped the People's Democratic Party, PDP, for the All Progressives Congress, APC, in the state. While appreciating the leadership of the APC for admitting him into the party, he applauded the performance of the two APC federal lawmakers from Abia State, Senator Oji Uzokalu and Benjamin Kalu. He urged other elected lawmakers to emulate the APC lawmakers, stating that their performance have been quite impressive and unprecedented in the history of Abia State. On crime, troops of Operation Safe Haven has discovered weapons fabrication factory situated on high ground in Patachi Village, Mangu local government area of Plateau State. A statement issued in JOS by the media and information officer of OPSH, Captain Oya James, revealed that during a clearance operation on rugged mountainous terrain, the isolated structure was discovered with significant number of illicit firearms and related equipments were recovered and one suspect apprehended. He noted that the operation resulted in the arrest of Tapshak Plangi, a 25-year-old male suspected to be involved in the illegal activities at the factory. The statement added that the alleged owner of the facility, Nuhu Meshak, is currently at large and efforts are underway to bring him to justice. 
On the foreign scene, the United Kingdom economy has slipped into recession as households cut back on spending in response to soaring interest rates and rising cost of living in the country. The Office for National Statistics, ONS, said gross domestic product, GDP, fell by a larger than expected 0.3% in the three months to December after a decline in all main sectors of the economy and a collapse in retail sales in the run-up to Christmas. It followed a drop of 0.1% in the third quarter, confirming a second consecutive quarter of falling national output, which is the technical definition of a recession. According to the UK Guardian, the official confirmation of a recession is a blow to the government with an election less than a year away. Jury selection in Donald Trump's first criminal trial is to begin on 25th March 2024. A judge in his New York hush money case, Justice Juan Merchan made the announcement after dismissing Trump's motion to have the case dismissed. Justice Merchant said the case relates to allegation of harsh money paid to adult film actress Stormy Daniels in 2016, who said she was paid 130,000 US dollars to stay quiet after having sex with Trump, who denies any allegation of an affair. Report says the former president is accused of falsifying his business record by saying the payment was for legal fees. He is facing a 34 counts of fraud under campaign finance laws and has pleaded not guilty to all of them. And in sports, The Super Eagles of Nigeria has moved up to 28th position in the new Federation of International Football Association FIFA rankings. The Super Eagles finished 2023 in 42nd position after FIFA released its end of the e men's rankings. Congratulating the Super Eagles, the Minister of Sports Development, Senator John Owen Eno, noted that the men's team moved up 14 positions on the FIFA rankings ladder describing it as the first team's highest placement in 16 years since 2008. He said the country is proud of the Super Eagles' accomplishment and encouraged the team to keep up the good work. The Sunshine Stars Football Club has unveiled Kennedy Boboye as the team's new head coach. The former Abia Warriors and Heartland Gaffer agreed to join Sunshine Stars following the sacking of Edith Agoye. Other technical crew members unveiled alongside Kennedy Boboye include Kayode Julius, chief coach, Wachuku Ifai, assistant coach, and John Gadi, goalkeeper trainer. Also unveiled was 2013 AFCON winner, Godfrey Itama Obuabona. The new head coach, Kennedy, thanked the management of the team for giving him an opportunity to serve and lead the team again and sought the cooperation of everyone as he promised to give his best. Let's now join Joy Dada for the entertainment news. Hello and welcome to entertainment segment. It's your girl Joy Dada. Nigerian singer Ahmed Ololade, popularly known as Ashake, has topped the list of most streamed artists in Nigeria. Turntable Chart announced this in a list released on its official S account. Records that Ashake has enjoyed huge commercial success since the release of his hit single, Omo Ope, in 2022. In a list of 2023 most streamed Nigerian artists, the singer topped the list with 654 million streams. He garnered 654 million streams across Boomplay. Spotify, YouTube, and Apple Music. Shea Vibes ranks second with 533 million streams after releasing two albums and two EPs. White Davido is third on the list 
with 328 streams courtesy of his fourth album, Timeless. Omale comes forth with 301 million streams, while Bonaboy round up the top five on the list with 282 million streams, aided by the release of his seventh album, I Told Them. The 2024 Actors Guide of Nigeria International Festival will be held in Los Angeles, California, between August 8 to 10, 2024, with the theme, The Actors Marketplace. Now, in his second year, the Actors Guide of Nigeria confirmed the news in a new report on Shock NG. The AGM president, Emeka Rola, says in the report has spread that this year's edition of the festival will run in association and close partnership with African Travel Film Festival and Dream Magic Studios, a subsidiary of Silverbed Group. The guide also has Ketensha as the Director of Communication, Emeka Juru as the National Finance Secretary, Lolo Obikate Okafor as the treasurer, David Akuma as the director of goods services, Jason Wondo as the assistant national secretary, and Key Adams as the national chief wipe. More details about the coming festival will be released in the coming days. Thanks for joining me, Joy Dada, reporting for MLC TV. Thanks for the update, Joy. And that is the size of our package for today. Do support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Malakite TV. Like and follow our Facebook page, MLC TV, MLC TV2, MLC TV Yoruba, and Ebiraba Bay MLC TV. Instagram, MLC TV 2021. X handle, Malakite TV. And TikTok, Malakite underscore TV. For your event coverage, appearance on any of our programs, contributions, comment, Advert placement or sponsorship, please call or send SMS to any of our numbers displayed on your screen. Join Malakai TV online on weekends to watch our various programs. Saturday, 7 p.m. Political Arena, Sunday, 6 p.m. Women's World, and Monday, 9 a.m. The Opinion. It's Malakai TV, reaching everywhere, informing everyone. Please continue to be a brother's keeper to build a happier and better society together. I am Joshua Adenoy. Thanks for watching.